Hi all, it's Travel with Jason. F, well I'm going to do another Star Wars refill. But it's not something I bought. Well actually it is, I bought it a little while ago. And I don't know if all Star Wars fans know about them. Because I didn't myself, till I think nearly two years ago. I mean, I didn't know they actually existed till then. Because I was mainly the small collector, you know, the... 3.75 scale figures. I, I knew of the original Star Wars 12 inch figures were plastic and didn't appeal to me. Where you've got the, what I call the posh end 12 inch with all the proper clothing on them and weapons, you know, from, oh, what are them top three brands called? Oh, Hot Toys and other cups, but they're always, you know, they're so out of my budget. I mean, I love them, and, I, you know, but you're looking at anything from £100 right up to about 500 per figure. And it's just out of my budget, really. So, uh, I've always looked at them in Forbidden Planet in any old place that's got them. And it's like, yeah, you look great. I'd love to have you, but can't afford it, you know. Um, but you just buy what you can afford, isn't it, in our, in our collections? I mean, that's the idea. So anyway, I went to a comic convention. Yeah, it was a small one, down in Dill. Uh, a lot of Star Wars people down there, you know, there was a big one. I just went down there. I was walking along a stall, and I saw a load of 12-inch Star Wars figures that I had never saw before. You know, not the Hot Toys or them ones. I was like, oh, wow. And I was like, I looked at them. And the average price was about £15 to, I mean, the dearest one I think was 30 quid. And I was like, oh, I really like these. And he must have had about 10 to 15 of them. But, you know, you know what your budget is like. I went down there for autographs. So I bought three of them. Uh, one was very modern. Uh, I'm not showing that one today. I'm, I am going to talk about them all at some point. This is going to be small part, parts. Uh, I'm going to show them. Because show, uh, um, since then, I've got, I would say I've got a good 80% of the collection now. Uh, I'm still missing what I call the mega rare ones. So, but I will get them at some point when they're cheap enough. But some of them, you know, like some of them are really expensive. They are. But you can always find things on cheap at times. You just got to keep looking and hope to have money in your bank account at the time to do it. <laughs> That's the other thing, isn't it? For us collectors, you know, sometimes you see a bargain and it's like, ah, I haven't got the money. So you think, oh, well next time anyway enough of me talking let's get on to show you the four i want to talk about all right let's go i i'm going now these are the first four i'm going to talk about now i believe these two guys were the first wave and the thing i hate about these two you probably can tell it's the heads uh, they're too small. They're too small for the body with the helmet. I mean, they're not right. I mean, so I've got Boba Fett, Darth Vader, ATAs, ATAT driver, or ATAT driver. That's what we used to call them anyway. And obviously, I do D5. With his dodgy thing, Boba. So anyway, let's talk. Let's go to the first one first. Boba Fett. I mean, he's everybody wants. Everybody wants him. Don't know, no matter what scale people want. But let's have a look. Apart from the head, and that's a bit that really bugs me. And at some point, I have got a spare head that, well, a spare helmet that came from the helmet collection. And, well, at some point, I'm going to try and take this helmet off and put the head on. 
And the same with Darth Vader. I have got the heads for them to replace them with Butter Scale. Now, it's a shame these weren't metal, but if there was, obviously the price would have been more expensive at the time. Uh, I did get this box, but it's not vintage. Uh, you know, it's about 24 years old. Well, getting near vintage. I've never opened up proper vintage Star Wars figures. But these I would. Don't ask me why. Uh, now, you know, let's have a look at it. I mean, the helmet, I mean, they've got the details on. And, you know, it's pretty good. Apart from the scale. But you got to forgive him, Mike, because I do believe he and Darth Vader was first wave. Now, I think his Intella is a little bit bent, but that may have been my fault. But anyway, let's go. Let's look at the back of him, shall we? I mean, he's got his pack, and he looks pretty good. Ah, uh, that no, that don't move. He got his belt. You know, he's got his, you know, so, it's, you know, I mean, I, I love the feel of material, you know, it looks great. I mean, you got the bands, I think they're rookie bands, I do. Well, obviously, he's captured some rookies for trading. There's his one of his guns. He only came with one gun, I believe. Uh, it's been a little while. But I've got to admit, there is another gripe I have got. This bit here. I'm not happy with that. Shame you can't join them up a bit more. But mm, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. But, you know, he does look good. I mean, at some point I will get... And he's got tools in his belts, you know... And his arm piece. Same again. Oops, that went the wrong way. So, yeah, you know, he's pretty good. Puff on the helmet and that bit there. I mean, no, nah, you see, it's a shame really to join them up. But, oh well. But now we're going to go on to Darth Vader. Again, uh, apart from the helmet, he is really good. I mean, but the helmet's good, apart from it's the wrong scale. I believe it's the wrong scale. It doesn't look right, because the simple fact is, I go to him, and I go to him, and you see what I mean? The helmet, that tells you the helmet's wrong. They basically put a head on and didn't realise the scale of the head. They went, ah, right. Now, we go down, you know, and... I mean, that's pretty good. You know, okay, could have been metal. Now, you can probably tell. Now, there is some plastic, you know, tear. I mean, this is over 20 years old, but you can see some of it is coming to bits now. Uh, it's old. Um, he had never been played with. Uh, I have got his lightsaber, but... I didn't put him with him because he's in the display cabinet and, well, it goes, stands out. But, you know, he's got his boots. I mean, it's like his cape. I mean, it's brilliant. I mean, I like you saw, I always have it like that. You know? So, I mean, I, uh, that's really the only gripe I've got with Darth Vader is the head, the helmet. It's wrong scale. I mean, look at him. I mean, he looks brilliant. He does. I mean, he's cool. Now, the AT-8 driver, or ATAT driver, uh, I don't think I've got any problems with him, actually. Uh, I mean, look at that. He's giving you the evil. Probably thinking, why am I talking about him? Well, tough, mate. I'm talking about you. Uh, yeah, you've got the Imperial signs on the helmet, both sides, like the original toys got. Uh, you know, I'm going to just show the helmet first. I mean, got the pipe work rounds. Again, I got him in the four pack. Him, Luke, 
Hand and one other. I can't remember what figure that was. Oh, a snow trooper. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's so much better than that, Ed. So, got to the chest plate. I mean, this is what I mean. I mean, look at his chest plate to uh, his. Now, that's why it tells me he's first generation. I, you know, I keep saying I believe he's first generation because now later on, they've joined the place by up. No net plays or anything, so it looks good. I mean, you've got his pipes, you've got his solder pads. Now, I would always fault... I don't know about in the film, but I know the toy does now. But you think they would have had some sort of marking on here? You know, rank or decade, they belong to, or regiment. I mean, I don't know how to regiments, but we do know there's a five, 501 squadron. So they must have had regiments as well. Uh, and then you got to his, you know, your fabric. Now, a lot of times... With these, you can't take gloves off. They are actually the hands. So, uh, you know, you got his weapon. Good old weapon. No, the glove. I mean, even the gloves detail. You know, I mean, look at that. You know, I, I know there's a lot of people don't like the power of the force and power of the Jedi 12 inch figure line. Well, I don't blame him for the small scale. Because. Who wants to look at He Man Star style Star Wars figures? But they weren't done like that. This is how they're meant to be. And the Finch's line. Now I'm gonna turn the back now. Now I look, see? There we are, nineteen ninety seven. Obviously made in, you know, China. I mean, it's like I say, I really showed you the helmets. I mean look. I mean, it's cool to me. It's cool. I mean, now I after I'm going to turn him around. He's coming back, and now we're going on about the droid. R R two D five, if I remember rightly. R two, yeah, R two D five or I five D two. Um, you can correct me on that later. Obviously, I'm just trying to think on now. Now, obviously, they've done him with the desert version. Obviously, the only time we saw him. And he's a lovely scale. Again, he's a 12-inch scale line, but only 6 inches tall. Because, well, you know. I mean, that's what we call the white scale. I mean, it does actually move. You know, look. It's got wheels. I mean, if he was made for toys, he wasn't for... These were for playing. They were not for displays. But they really done a good job. I mean, look at that helmet. Oh, well, the, the top part of the droid's head. Apart from the dirt. Oh, and, you know, I do plan to get no one to redo at some point. Or have I? I can't remember at the moment. But I've got so many. Now, we go to, you know, we turn them over. I mean... Obviously, that comes out. See? And it goes back in. Now, obviously, it's tipped over a bit. Whoops, daisy. There we are. Now, let's get to the body. I mean, look at the body. Basically, it's R2-D5. I mean, R2-D2, isn't it, body? Apart from the original... Different paintwork and obviously markings. I mean, you can run your finger, you can fill the lines, you know, it's not a transfer. I mean, it's cool. That's that's what, you know, I love these figures. I do, and I, I'm really proud to show these off as well. To show the fans out there who may never knew about them, because I didn't. I literally did not know about them. Uh, Till literally two years ago, I went to that Dills Comic Convention or Comic Con, whatever you want to call them. It's got so many different names. 
But that's the four. I mean, yeah, you know, and they're nice. I mean, I like these, and at some point, I will be talking about all of these. I will be. Well, I've just bought the helmets out and the spare ones that I want to put on. Now, do you think that would look right? Or do you think that would be too big? I've got to admit, looking at it now, I think... Uh, I think it would look right, actually. I think that would look right. But i still got to try and get that out and take his head off. But I think that will look the right scale. Uh, because, <laughs> and if I could, if that could fit inside that, I oh, would we'll just put him over. Because it's just an empty, it, that's just an empty shell. Now, talk about Darth Vader. I mean, he's lost his head. <laughs> I mean, again, do you think, now I'm not too sure... Now, is that would that be too big? Uh, I got. Um, I, I am not really sure about Darth Vader's head. Uh, so he may be too big, but I'm pretty certain Boba Fett helmet isn't. So you know. Well, as the first one of well. Many, don't know how many. Probably might be a ten, but I'm going to keep showing the ones I've got, and I have got some modern ones that I will show you the difference. What I don't like about modern ones and to these power the false power the Jedi twelve inch figure line, and well, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe. Because there will be more. And like I said to you, I am hoping to go. To, I'm hoping to go to do some more tours at London. And later, later all, half half for now. Till another time. And there's some famous people who say, "May the force be with you." Maybe not in that voice. Later, half